everyone. Today I'm going to attempt the little pig from the tow bar book. Now the reason I like this little pig is it's got a curly tail. Now my pig that I make, you will have seen that in one of my previous videos, doesn't have a tail. And the thing that we know about pigs is they've got little curly tails. So it's quite tricky to do it with just fingers because fingers, you know, they're quite solid things. So here's the little pig at the bottom. And this says the pig's tail will curl and uncurl if the little finger of the left hand is bent and straightened. So let's have a go and see if I can do this. So I'll try it the way that they suggest. Right hand, fingers closed, and then bend the fingers a little bit towards the light. Put the thumb down for the pig's ear, and the little finger is the pig's front leg, and that's the head. Here comes the back of the pig. So you stick up the little finger and you curl it to make a tail, and the thumb goes down to make the pig's back leg. And there it is. Now at the moment, I have to say that my pig's nose looks more like a rat. Yeah, that's a bit better. There we go. It still looks a bit rat-like to me. <laughs> now I'm going to try and switch hands and see if I can do it that way. So again, this is the pig's head. Curl the fingers away from the light and bend this finger to make the ear. Now that to me is a very pig-like head and front leg. Let's see if we can add the back tail. Yeah, there we go. I think that's kind of interesting as a pig shape. Need to make the nose a bit shorter. It's a kind of cartoon pig. Nice shape though. Little, little tail, little ear, little front leg. And I'll put the tail further back. There we go. There we go. So how I'm doing that is like this. It's almost like the book says, but I've switched hands around and I've just pushed the fingers like that so the little nose is a bit shorter. And that's a pig. Another way to make a pig. Come back tomorrow for more shadows.